Hi, my name's Neil. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a 45-year-old skateboarder who took a 25-year break. I've been back on the board now for six years and I've been YouTubing the whole thing. That probably sounds really familiar to a lot of you and so hopefully you'll enjoy some of my videos. Since the end of last year I've been making some videos going back month by month looking at 2023 in some kind of effort to diarise the year so that I can look back in the future month by month and see where I was at. And today's video is from July. So we finally made it past the halfway point and there won't be too many videos to go. I'm quite enjoying looking back at the year like this because it gives me an idea of my progression month to month. Let's get into it and see what July had in store. I started off the month with a visit to Better Extreme Skate Park in Barking. This is a really good park for our winter months here in the UK because it's undercover, indoors, very warm, never really too busy. I really like the bowl there. It's a fairly unusual shape in the sense that it's kind of keyhole shaped. So you've got the, the round deep end and then the shallow end is kind of opposing walls with two square ends to it. So if you look from above, it looks kind of like an old school keyhole. It's about seven and a half or eight foot deep in the deep end and maybe about five and a half feet in the shallow end. And because of its shape, it makes it a fairly good challenge to skate. The hips are quite sharp, the deep end is nice and deep, and the shallow end feels accessible enough to start doing things on a bigger transition, but not so big that it's too intimidating. Now usually my kind of warm up technique here is just to be kind of doing some circuits and trying out some 50-50s in the deep end. It's one of the places that I learned to do 50-50s in a higher bit of transition, bigger walls. So it's fairly scary even still now and it kind of just reminds you of how to do things at a bigger height. And something else that I've had as like a main goal here is to get a proper decked rock and roll on that deep end. Now if you see my rock and roll video you'll see that these sessions are part of that and for me it's a real serious battle to try and get them in this deep end because it's the steepest thing that I've ever tried them on and it's really high up. It's not quite vert yet but I'm using it as some kind of middle ground to get used to rock and rolls to move towards doing them on the vert ramps. So this session was mostly about those rock and rolls and you'll see it was a real battle and from what it looks like there's an awful lot of them that I probably could have tried a bit harder to turn out of but as I tried to explain in my rock and roll videos it's not always what it looks like or how it seems to other people. There's an awful lot going on in your head when you're trying a trick and even though it might look perfectly good from an outsider's view, your balance and the way that you're holding your body and all kinds of other influences can make it just not feel right enough to complete the trick. That always is my problem, you know, I manage to be able to do things where they look like I should have just turned out or should have just rode away but actually in my head or my balance, things weren't quite right. I'm kind of uh, very security conscious in that sense that I need to feel like it's ready to go personally inside me before I can actually do it myself. So I tend to throw things up there a thousand times to get used to the feeling of being in the trick before I can actually complete it and roll away. So it must be incredibly boring to be one of my friends watching this going on, but I sort of feel like when it actually happens, it's all the better for it. You know, the, I tend to actually pull away from the trick fairly well. That's just my learning process. And I don't seem to have the ability to just throw myself at things and hope it works. I just can't do that. I have to feel comfortable. So um, maybe some of you can, uh, relate to that but uh, it's just the way that I learn stuff. So yeah this session was all about those rock and rolls and if you can bear to watch the million bail attempts uh, in the meantime you'll see eventually I managed to get one. The relief was massive it was just one of the best things when you roll away from a trick that you've been trying so hard it's hard to match that feeling. So anyway let's take a look at that footage and uh, see how it went down.
All right, it wasn't too bad at all. And uh, I think everyone's relief was shared in the fact that they didn't have to sit there watching me do this anymore. Actually, the place was closing as well. So it always seems to be the last few minutes when you really feel like you can get it. And sometimes you have to walk away because the place wants to close. That's not unusual for me, but I think everybody was relieved that a, that I got the trick and B, that they didn't have to sit through uh, even more attempts. So it was a lot of work. I worked hard for it and lucky to say that I managed to actually roll away from it in the end. So now all there is to do is uh, repeat that. And what tends to happen for me is I might get one or two per session and slowly, slowly, the more I do, I might get three or four and more and more. And slowly, slowly, it comes to the point where I can do things a bit more regularly. So it's not over yet, you know, I've got one. Uh, next session, I have to try for more. But I quite enjoy getting really stuck into learning a trick. It kind of really focuses you on stuff because for me, I spend a lot of time usually just riding around doing the tricks I can already do. And I have to have like a trick to work on over several weeks that will get me in the zone and then sometimes I'll spend an entire session just working on that trick like I did in this one. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you've been watching back through the other months and been getting an idea of what I'm progressing at or where I'm at. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you're working on any of those tricks that I'm doing or you know, let me know whatever you want, to be honest. But yeah, strike up some conversation in the comments section. If you did make it this far and you did enjoy the video, please leave a thumbs up and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.